What's up everybody? Merry Christmas. This video was recorded in Kansas on a little fishing trip that I did during Thanksgiving. Uh, it does have some bad audio. I do apologize for that. This was before I had a mic and everything, which I do have now. So that way the future videos audio will hopefully be a lot better. If you guys enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, comment, whichever. If you have tips and advice on anything that I'm doing, I'm trying to become a better angler and get better at what I'm doing. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get on to some fishing. All right, so we're at Kannapolis State Park, we're driving out right now. Um, all the way from the surf side, I don't know if you can see that sticker or not, but uh, I may throw some footage from that in here because there are some really cool scenes. Um, but I'm gonna go down and try to fish, fish down in the spillway down here. Uh, there's a big dam coming out of this lake. Uh, a river feeds into the dam. I, I don't really know. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna try to go down here and see if I can do some fishing. See if and what I can catch down here. I I was down here about a year ago at the beginning of this pandemic thing and. Uh, I've seen a lot of people fishing down here, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Try to catch some stuff down here. Um, but we're gonna see how it gets it, how it goes. It's noon right now, so I'll probably fish until it gets dark. And oh, they got some more construction thing. Oh, okay, that's all right. So I mean, it's pretty cool, Canopolis Lake. spillway dam down there. I don't know if you guys can see that really well. But I've seen a lot of people fishing down there below that one point. And evidently people are catching like walleye, sawgye, catfish is what I saw people catching last year down here. Um, it's a little bit of a walk here, but I'm gonna try to go around to the other side. There is a point, I don't know if you can see it, but on the other side of the river over there, there's a point I'm gonna try to go down and fish. Uh, I am gonna start right down here though, because they stock this with trout or something every year. Just pull out a small rod, see if we can catch any little bait fish or anything. It'd be nice if I could catch some perch down there. Um, especially to take over there for for catfish. Um, I know that in this lake people have caught channels, flatheads, stuff like that. But I'd like to target a flathead today if I can. Catching a nice size flathead would be awesome. Catching a walleye would be awesome. I've never caught a walleye because I'm from Texas, further south, and we don't have walleye or anything like that, or especially trout down there. So I've got all my licenses and stuff. I'm gonna try to see what I can catch here. We gotta get ready to go. It is a little dark in my truck. Um, as you can see, windows are all blacked out in my F-250. But let's see what we can get into. Right now he's on this rod out there and last time i was out here where the people were catching fish there's like a little hole or something just past where you see where this enclave is enclave whatever the hell this is called but just on the other side there's a little hole down there you can see where it kind of clears up and um <clears throat> last year in about an hour i seen these two guys pull probably 15 20 catfish out of there so i went ahead and set up for that um, I'm fishing this. There's also another little hole right here. And I know this because the water was really low. 
um, last time when I came out here and they, you could almost damn near walk across like right in this area it was only about a foot or two deep um, but I'm fishing this little area hole right here to try to get some bait I'm about to get another rod set out with probably some chicken liver just on this side because uh, I did hit this spot last night for about uh, 30 minutes or whatever and all I had was some chicken liver and I was getting a lot of hits right here so I'm gonna set, set one out with chicken liver and then I got this one out with the crawfish so All right, so I had to run back to um, the truck to get a, well, as you guys saw, the battery died in the middle of catching that fish. It ended up being a good size uh, striped bass or whatever. So, just walking back now. Still got my two rods out. But I, I tied a rope to them and stuck it in the ground. So that way I wouldn't have to worry about it. Sorry if the sun's in the middle of the camera. Also I got a light bottle of water. Because I haven't drank any water today. So but right on back now. Nothing seems to have touched anything. So striped bass white white bass striped bass whatever i think it's called striped bass i don't know but um let's get back to it Quickly. holy crap i don't know if you guys just saw that that was a big fish Oh wait, oh, wow. 
walleye and sauna. Maybe that's a walleye, maybe it's a baby walleye. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. That's pretty cool. That's the first, first one of these I've got. You know, I, I'm from Texas, so, you know, like, we don't have a lot of these fish up there. Or we don't have any of these type of fish. This thing looks crazy, bro. Got teeth. I mean, I know saltwater fishing, so not that big a deal, but that's pretty cool. So, uh, three species today, and I, I caught it on the same jig I caught that, that crop deal. I caught it out there and pulled it into the water. And all I'm doing is uh, pulling in about a foot or two, and then pause, pull, pause. Uh, That's the second one in about 10 minutes. Second fish in 10 minutes. I mean, they're not keeper stuff, but it's, it's cool for, like, just learning. Alright, sorry if it's kind of loud. I'm, I'm sitting in the truck warming up right now. Um, but, not, not a bad, not a bad day. Not a bad day. Quite a few fish, uh, as you guys can see. It was a good day, and I'll see you on the next one.